Hello and welcome to another Friday Fun Livestream Directed Draw. So today is sadly, for now, uh, the last Friday Fun Directed Draw I will be doing. Um, and hopefully depending on scheduling and all that, if there's time, maybe I'll do one every now and then. But for now, this will be the last one. Uh, before school starts. So, I'm hoping that um, there will be more opportunities to do more of these. Uh, I will keep on posting regular directed draws on the YouTube channel every now and then, um, but I'm starting to run out of ideas. <laughs> so, <laughs> the easy drawings. So, I'm hoping I can uh, come up with some more stuff and we can continue doing it that way. Um, if you noticed, it is a little, the setup is a little bit different. Um, I'm trying to do it on the edge of my table. Um, hoping that this will be a little easier, but we shall see. Um, but yeah, I'm on a little bit earlier, like a couple minutes earlier, but. We'll start in a few minutes, and to kick off the start of the new school year in about another week or so, we will be drawing a school bus today. It doesn't look like I've done a school bus, so we'll see how this goes. So I'll wait maybe two more minutes, and then we will go ahead and get started. So as like always for this directed draw, you are going to need a pencil, um, an eraser, and coloring materials of your choice. I haven't decided what I'm going to color it with, so when we get there we will figure that out. I'm going to go ahead and get started. So this is a school bus that I found online that I thought was super cute. So, and it's pretty easy, and it's just the front of the school bus. So with your pencil, remember to do it lightly. This one is a 6B pencil, which means it's going to be a little bit um, darker. That's why it'll be easier for you guys to see, but try to do it lightly so you can erase it afterwards. So here's about the middle of the paper. I'm going to go a little bit lower than that and do two big round circles. So I'm going to do one and two. And it's okay if it's not perfect, don't worry. But these are going to be the eyes of the school bus. Um, I can see on my computer screen that it's a little distorted. I'm not sure why Instagram has been doing that, but I think video-wise, when I upload this, it should be fine, but that has become a slightly annoying. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some curves around it. We're going to connect the two circles with a line across so it looks like you're drawing a pair of glasses. So it's a straight line. And you're going to follow that this way. Go straight out. My lines aren't very straight today. So you're going to go straight out just a little bit. So now it looks really looks like a pair of glasses. 
and then we're going to curve around and come down. So you're going to curve and come down, curve this side, curve and come around. I'm going to sharpen my pencil because my pencil isn't sharp enough. Mine does look a little lopsided on the screen, so I'm going to redo it. You want it to be kind of the same shape and the same width. So I'm going to curve and down. There we go. And once you're done with that, we're going to close it with a line, but we're going to start a little bit off um, the end. So you're not going to start here and go like that. You're going to come out a little bit and you're going to close it like that. I know it doesn't look like a school bus yet. It will. So this part is the bumper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go a little bit below it and draw another line the same length as the top one and then the ends I'm going to close it with a curve so on this side it's a C curve like that same thing on this one except it's going to be backwards so it's that curve where um, when you're writing a capital D it's that curve So now once you're here, we're going to be drawing the tires. So the tires are going to be a little bit below this end line. So from here you're going to draw two straight lines that are pretty wide, like that. And you'll kind of close it with a slight curve. Same thing on the other side. Two lines, one and two, and close it with a curve. This one is slightly smaller, so I'm going to make it a little wider. And I'm going to erase my mistake. Okay, so now you have your wheels. While we're here, we're going to draw the treads of the tire or the grooves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually going to do some zigzags. So starting at the top, you're going to go in, out, in, out, in, out. And you can do as many of these as you want. I think I'm only going to do three because they're nice and even, evenly spaced. Go the same way. There we go. All right. So you can do zigzags or you can do squigglies. So I'm going to put our bus on a road. So to do that, I'm going to come to the edge of my paper, draw a straight line, jump straight across and jump and straight across. All right, we'll come back here later. We're gonna hop back up here and right about here in the middle before it curves, we're going to go up over and down 
but we're going to do this exact same shape. So I'm going to go up, out, slightly like this. Same thing on this side. Go up and out. Let me see if that looks even on the computer. And then you're going to curve in, go straight, and curve down. Okay. Then I'm going to do a rectangle right in the middle. We're going to do line across like that, come down, do another line across, same length, and close the ends with two straight lines. Then I'm going to do two circles, one here and one here. So those are the lights. And then from there, I'm going to do a little curve here, like that. And then come close to the edge, not too close, but you're going to curve down. And stop, curve down, and stop. Now I'm going to come back up to the sides. We're going to draw two more rectangles, except instead of horizontal or wide like a wall like this one is, we're going to do it vertically or tall like a building. So I'm going to do one two straight lines. I'm going to kind of curve the ends like this. And then I'm going to attach it to the side of the bus with two straight lines like so. Same thing on the other side. Make sure they're about the same height. So I'm going to go here. Whoops. here. Can't draw some straight lines today. Just do the best that you can. But now I kind of remember why I did not set up my camera like this because it is very hard to kind of um, draw straight. I'm kind of sitting sideways. So we'll fix that when we trace it. But try to make it as straight as this one. I'm really close to the edge of my wall right now, so let me see if I can move my chair a little bit. Ooh, yeah, no. Okay. So now we have that. And I'm going to come back. Let's see. Actually, we'll come up here. We're going to write the word school. S C. I might have to write a little bit bigger, a little wider, I should say. And then once you're here, we're going to give our school bus some eyes. I'm going to do two circles kind of close to the sides. Okay. 
And then for the front headlights, they're going to be hearts. So, and they're kind of narrow hearts. Okay. And then we're going to give him a very big U smile. Now, if you want to make your best a girl, all you have to do is add some eyelashes at the top. All right. So now I'm going to go back and trace with a black marker. And take your time. I'm going to move my paper just for a second so I can fix this part. I'm going to move it back into frame. There we go. Changing that up a little bit. And we're almost done. Alright, and now I'm going to erase my lines. I'm going to move this out of frame for a little second. Thank you. 
here we are. And I actually think I'm just going to do this in watercolor. You could do it with watercolor, you could do it with markers, crayons, whatever materials you have, use those. Today I'm feeling a little watercolor-ish, so I haven't actually done any watercoloring in the past few days now, so let's do it. Okay, so I just got a yellow. Could do like a bright yellow. Or like an orange. And if we have some extra time, I might do some more mini drawings like last time. Um, yeah, we still have a little time. Or I might just do a bonus video after this. I think that's what I'll do. So if you'd like to stay on after, I'll start another one soon. Um, once we're done here, I'll start another live stream since today is the last one and we'll do a mini directed draw on uh, school supplies. Trying not to get too close to the pen lines because it will bleed a little bit. The other method you could do if you're doing this directed draw, not now but later, um, if you're watching the video, is what you can do is you can paint with the watercolor first and then trace it after. some red for the heart. You could do pink.
this red too. And then let's see the tires. And then I'm going to use the blue for the windshield. because this isn't watercolor paper, it's not really working that well, but that's okay. Gives it a little character. little bit of my black and kind of water it down a little bit. Again, it's not really doing what I want it to do, but that's okay. I'm trying to make some gray, but it's turning kind of brown instead. next one I will do on watercolor paper so you guys can see how that works. Alright, and let's see. I want to do the background. I'm going to keep it like this for now. Um, maybe I'll, I'm still going to do the ground.
this, I'll do this guy. I'm gonna see if I can water it out on my palette first. Um, Alright, so there you have the cute little school bus. So I got, ugh, I can't talk. Um, I hope you guys had fun as much as I did. Um, and this is so strange that this is going to be the last uh, live stream. But again, if you guys want to tune in to the next one that I'm going to start in a few minutes, um, feel free to join. If not, these will both be on the YouTube channel after I am done. Uh, it'll be up today at some point. I'm not sure when because I have to go run some errands later. But yeah, if not today, then it'll be up tomorrow. Um, but thank you for joining and thank you for following this Instagram page and doing this with me during this quarantine. Um, it's definitely kept me sane and it's fun to teach you guys how to draw little things and just interact with you guys this way. Um, it's been a very cool adventure. I didn't think I'd go for this long with this directed draw, but we have and I'm hoping I can still continue it um, even through late in the future. So until next time, I will see you guys later. Stay safe. Stay happy, stay healthy, and have a great new school year. Enjoy the rest of your summer, and hopefully we'll see each other soon.